beautiful love. <laughs> it's May 2023 and I'm in the home of pirates and villains uh, where Sir Francis Drake used to sail across the world and take loot. This Plymouth Barbican, where 16 million Americans can trace their ancestry back to one lady, Priscilla, and she wasn't queen of the desert. Ha <laughs> ha Come down and look out for the old gaffers and their tribute to tribute. Tribute? Do I mean beer? They get sponsored by tribute. Oh, I've been all over my borough. I've been, uh, you know, Nassau and uh, New Providence Island and borrowed a bit of a uh, nice cloth for my yeah. new look. Uh -huh. My town clothes. Cool. Oh, we've got the famous Captain Raven here as well. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, morning, Chris. Yeah, good to see you, mate. How are you doing? And how many folks have you been? Uh, oh, good. Our 12th year. Sun <laughs> shining in Norway. 12th year? Yeah, 12 years, eh? It when goes so quick, doesn't it? Sorry? It goes so quick. It goes so quickly, very, very quickly, yeah. So, Make the most of everything we've got, eh? So, how many, yeah, of course. So, how many boats have you captured? How many? How many boats have you captured? Uh, 21 so far. Yeah. But the day's young. Yeah. <laughs> we live in hope. Oh, it's 21 a day, is it? <laughs> you're, you're a fast worker, aren't you? Oh, yeah, we, on that one. we live in <laughs> hope every day. Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Old yeah, guy. that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been on the Pilgrim, interviewing on the Pilgrim. Yeah. So that's really good as well. Haven't been on that one yet. Yeah. Well, I've got a classic independent um, you, um, YouTuber channel now oh, uh, for the classic so. boats. Oh, so you, you, you'll probably be on that at some I'll point keep, as well. I'll keep an eye out for that. I'll we'll board a few. Okay. Maybe take a few back to the Caribbean when we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any captain we catch along the way. Or so any, 12, uh, 12 years you've been at it now. Sorry? 12 years you've been at it now. 12 years, yeah. You don't have to apologise. It's all <laughs> good, <isn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, still, we're still fighting fit and, uh, you know. Good. Nice one. Taking plunder where we can and, yeah. you know, scaling Oh, you're a bit like the government then, really, aren't you? Sorry? You're a bit like the government of the day then, really, aren't you? I am a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're the unofficial government. <laughs> Taking what you can off the people. <laughs> and then you can have yeah. a rich lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiny Tim. Yeah. How are you? Ship's cook. Bit. Chief cook. Ship's cook. Ship's cook. Yeah, ship's cook. And bottle cook. washer. Hey. Have you got a parrot? No, no. Uh -huh. Floor. Floor. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Get, yeah. So you okay? Yeah, yeah, magic. All nice. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Most definitely. Well, have a good weekend at the Pirate Weekend. Sorry? Have a good Pirate Weekend. Yeah, we will do. Yeah. yeah. You, come from, you. you come from Surrey? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks Different a lot. Anyway. Neck of the woods, okay, yeah. thanks a lot. Anyway, cheers. No worries. You're Arr, a me skipper. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> What's this all about? So this is a um, Royal Navy uh, carronade right. and they would have been fitted to merchantmen and smaller vessels as well as the large battleships. Right. Uh, but because it's been developed to be half the length of a normal gun of that calibre, yeah. it weighs a lot less and it costs a lot less to make. Uh -huh. Also, because they manufacture the ammunition at the same time as the gun, it's much closer fitting. Yes. So in here you get very little windage, which right. means that the you can use less gunpowder to propel the ball ah. the same distance. It's much tighter fit, there's no wasted blast. Uh -huh. uh, it'll fire solid shot <coughs> and then there's a variety of different um, ammunition. What sort of metal is she made out of? Iron. Right, okay. Cast iron. Yeah. Um, and you've got, uh, down here we've got case shot, grape shot, something called langridge. Yeah. Which is any old scrap bits of metal. Right. Uh, and this thing is a spider shot, which the legs unfold and tear the rigging and the, the, sh the sails. Yeah. Um, normally fitted on the top decks of ships because it's so lightweight, therefore it doesn't affect the centre of balance. Yeah. Most big guns of this calibre will be right at the bottom in the lower decks. What sort of ships would the ship been on? They have been on. These ones, these fit these were on HMS Victory, right. all the way down to the smallest catch or yeah. sloop. And where's this one from? This one is um, a replica right, okay. uh, that was used on Victory. So right. the front two guns on the top deck of Victory were these. Yeah. Um, and at the Battle of Trafalgar, when the Victory broke the French and Spanish lines, the first guns to fire were the 68-pound carronades. Yeah. They were triple-shotted, which means they had three different loads in. Yeah. Uh, one large cannonball. 
and uh, a 500 pound bullet case of case shot for 500 musket balls in two cases plus the round and shot. And what sort of metal are they made out of? Lead. Right, okay. So when this thing went off, the, um, the ball went through one of the gun decks of a Reda Tabla, the French yeah. flagship, ripped it to shreds and tore splinters off. Comes. Um, the, the musket balls obviously followed it. It was fired through the stern window of the ship, yeah. or the, you know, the, the, the big flat bit at the back of the ship, um, and it completely destroyed one gun deck. Later on, the Temeraire um, had come around to rescue the Victory, who was in danger of being boarded um, uh, by the Boussanteur. Yeah. And it raked the deck of the Boussanteur with two of these. Correct. By the time they'd got on board to, to, to get rid of the grappling hooks and take over the French ship, they said there was no one left alive Gosh. on that front, on that top deck. Yeah. Just bits of people everywhere. And what period did they come from? Uh, basically, it's mid 18th century to mid 19th century, so about 100 years right, across okay. the Napoleonic Wars. It's amazing, a bit before. it's amazing how the science and technology has moved so quick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it, it, it's Just interesting. They went out of fashion um, when the <coughs> Navy went over to rifled guns because the one thing you don't know what you're doing for a rifled barrel is firing lots of things that are going to ruin the rifling. Yeah. And obviously, as a breech loader, um, you, we well, should putting that in the. There's also health problems with, you know, if this is lead, yeah. then the, the health problems with handling the lead ammunition all the time as well yeah the um obviously that we now know about lead poisoning back then they weren't so bothered about it yeah um but because it's encased that's what's called case shot yeah. you're not actually handing the ball you're handling the, the as it's called a sabo it's yeah. the wooden bit um, and the whole thing just goes in there right okay the balls, they're all loose. so where does this come from is uh by a friend of mine Okay. Yeah, a guy called John Nicholson. Okay, and uh, w uh, what's um, this all about then? This is all about, um, well, we, we all know about pirates. Yes. Not many people know about the people who the pirates were raiding uh, or the people sent after them known as privateers. Yeah. So a privateer is basically a licensed pirate. Yeah. But they're normally working for the Crown. We've, I've so, already been talking about that on some of oh, the other okay. boats, about the, uh, how the government turned a blind eye to yeah. pirates well, actually, bringing money to the, to, the, to, the, to the UK government. Yeah. The, 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 basically, the government would issue a bit of paper, the king would sign it, it's called a letter of mark. Yes. Um, and that enabled you to hunt down the king's enemies, yes. wherever, with impunity at home. Yeah. It didn't give you impunity on the high seas, because right. the people you're hunting got really upset. Yeah. Um, but the, this is the problem with letters of mark, they have a date. Yeah. and they run out. So we all know about the most famous pirate in the world, Blackbeard. Yes. Um, Blackbeard's name was Edward Teach. He was uh -huh. actually a privateer hired by Queen Anne. Right. Um, 1700s. Um, and he went over to fight in the Americas. Like Drake. Yeah, similar to Drake. Uh, but his license ran out. Yeah. So rather than return and go back to being a normal privateer or normal merchantman, they stayed over there on what's called on account. Yes. So going on account means you basically you take all the money yourself. There's no prize split between you and the crown. Right. So you become very rich very quickly or dead. Yeah. You know how good you are. Um, and so Blackbeard became one of the most fright the frightening pirates simply so he didn't have to use ammunition. So if you saw his colour, his flag, which yes. is a special design, he would, have, he would have stopped and handed over the ship. Oh, Otherwise, right. you would face certain death Crack if he caught you. Crumbs. Well, thanks a lot for that information. No worries. And what's your organisation about? My name um, is Dave Allen. I run a company called Pike and Shot Events Limited. Right, OK. So we run um, both living history and um, reenactment events all over the country. Yeah. And we're down here at the request of uh, the council to put on a, an authentic display of um, living history to do with the period of time that we're talking about. So the golden age of piracy, which is basically the late 1600s to the early 1800s. It's so about 200 years. Thanks. Welcome to Plymouth. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Today. Cheers. Thank you. Nice one. I'm a shanty group, uh, we, we formed about 10 years ago, but we called ourselves the Old Grumpies. Yeah. Uh, and we sing lively shanty songs, you know, for, uh, from the West Country and from elsewhere. And, uh, yeah. And uh, of course we come down to this festival every year and yeah. enjoy it. And uh, 
It's a wonderful atmosphere then. So how long you've been filmed as a group? We've been going about 10, 10, 10 years or so now. Yeah. 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 And you've been here before? Yeah, we, we've been here the last two years. Yeah, I must have recorded you in the past then as well. I think we, we were over on the other side, so sort of the last year, and you, and you filmed us then when we were by the uh, ice cream place. Yeah, probably, yeah. Or, or, or on the ship. Yeah. We, we're actually standing on the ship. Yeah. Uh, when you recorded oh, I think us I did, last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've done so many over the years. I've got the biggest. Yeah, sure. I've got the biggest record of Plymouth people Have you since really? 1992. Yeah. yeah you, the Jazz and Blues festivals. Yeah. The Cassie Boat Rally, and uh, and even Bob Belenkovitz in the Barbican. You know. Okay. A tremendous amount of. So, so, so a lot of this stuff you put on YouTube. Then. Yeah, it's all on YouTube. Yeah, okay. on the two channels. I've just started up a, a channel for the Cassie Boat Rallies in Plymouth. Right. Which is Cassie Boat Plymouth yeah. TV. And then I've got an independent channel, which is like my my name is Chris Summerfield. Chris Summerfield. So I, so, so so obviously if, we, if if we want to see what you've recorded, I love Summertime TV. Yeah. So what's your name? John Hornsby. So how did you get into uh, sea shanties? Oh, apart from yeah. being part of. Uh, I think it was like we were sat around one evening and having a pint and that. Were you playing just snooker, is it, or bowls? No, we were bowls. Bowls, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, 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 we were members of the Plimstock Bowls. With Francis Drake. No, <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah, yeah. I just play around on words. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we were having a chat one evening, and he said, you know, about forming a, a choir, a group, or whatever, to, to sing, and it went from there. And, and you know, we gradually got together and and started singing shanties, and we I mean, do a bit of stuff at Christmas time as well. And, yeah. Uh, we could go to some of the old folks' homes and and then raise money for charity. Well, in the mid '90s, we used to have TSW uh, television yes, based in Plymouth, yeah. and they used to play an, uh, across the country. Uh, they used to play a lot of the sea shanties and the music from right. the West Country yeah. across the UK. And I yeah. was based in Cheshire at the time, yeah. and I used to listen to all that music. And I get something spiritual out of listening to the sea shanties yeah. and recording it. You know, well, look, I, I've been down to to Falmouth a, a few times yes. you know, to, to watch the, the festival down there. Yeah, and that's grown every year. I mean, it, you get over seventy groups down in there. Yeah. It's huge. Absolutely. Absolutely huge. How big and, is it? Sorry. and it's growing here. Yeah. I think they said last year. It's it coming back in because sea shanties have been in the charts recently as well, haven't they? Yeah. That's During right. the COVID. So. I'm the Wellerman. Yeah. Yeah, we sing that one. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, nice one. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll record you yeah. doing yeah, that. Yeah, good. And you got a CD? Oh. We got a CD out. Yeah. And what's that uh, called? Well, it's a CD of the old Grumpies. The old Grumpies. Uh, <laughs> the old grumpies. Yeah. Uh, it's not a tribute. Yeah, everybody's wearing tribute tops. So it's not a tribute to the old Grumpies, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, in, like, we get our shirts um, sponsored by uh, to, uh, 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 the breweries. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nice one. Well, that, that's good for you, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> Ideal. Do you get a few beer? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, would, that would be even better, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would be better, yeah. Pretty girls are good and true, those pretty girls are good and true, but they're not for the likes of me or you, aboard the Rosabella, oh we're going on for the Rosabella, oh we're going on for the Rosabella. The next song is about uh, 
well, I don't know what country they came from, but they came from the different countries to work on uh, ships. And it's, <laughs> this song's called John Kanaga, and it's going to be sung mainly by Ian. Hey. Banks of Sacramento and about um, people going up river uh, to try and find gold. Sacramento. Oh, keep 
slower this one um, you might have heard it done by the fisherman's friends <laughs> next one is called Leaving Tipperary and it's about Irish, mainly Irish people that sort of left Ireland when there was um, disaster, I believe, potato bread and all that sort of thing and um, went to another com country, so Leaving Tipperary uh, Ship it sailed in half an hour to cross the broad Atlantic and I'm ready with grief and sorrow frantic I'm just about to sail away in the good ship down O'Leary The anchor's plain and the gangway's up I'm leaving Tipperary And it's goodbye Mick and it's goodbye Pat And it's goodbye Kate and Mary The anchor's plain and the gangway's up I'm leaving Tipperary and now the steam is blowing up, I have no more to say. I'm bound for New York City, boys, 3,000 miles away. 
in my portmanteau. Here I have some cannabis, beans and bacon. And if you think I can't eat that, well, that's where you're mistaken. For the ship will play with pitch and toss for half a dozen parties. I'll roll my bundle on me back and walk to Castle Garden. When the ship by Dick and the ship by Dick and the ship by Ted and Mary, hey, 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 I'm leaving Tipperary. And now the steam is blowing up, I have no more to say. I'm bound for New York City, boys, 3,000 miles away. No, I won't come, that Yankee chap, I guess I'm calculating. Come liquor up, oh sunny boys, when old friends I am treating. I'm deep in love with Molly, her glass is falling over. I'll send for her when I get there, that's it, she will come over. And it's goodbye, Mick, and it's goodbye, Pat, and it's goodbye, Kay and Mary. The anchor's weighed and the gangway's up, I'm leaving Tipperary. And now the steam is blowing up, I have no more to say. I'm bound for New York City, boys, 3,000 miles away. And fare thee well, the very years to part my heart does end. From Paris, Fergus to Cape Clear, I'll never see your end. Old Lumen, Foreign, Hearts to Land, and an old thing in just. We'll never forget the holy ground of Pochin and Potatoes. And it's goodbye, Dick, and it's goodbye, John, and it's goodbye, Kate and Mary. The anchor's weighed and the gangway's up, I'm leaving Tipperary. And now the steam is blowing off, I have no more to say. I'm bound for New York City, boys, 3,000 miles away. Ship that sailed in half an hour to cross the broad Atlantic. The great looks standing on their feet with grief and sorrow frantic. I'm just about to sail away in the good ship down O'Leary. The anchor's plain and the gangway's up. I'm leaving Tipperary. And it's goodbye, Mick, and it's goodbye, Pat, and it's goodbye, Kate and Mary. The anchor's weighed and the gangway's up, I'm leaving Tipperary. And now the steam is blowing up, I have no more to say. I'm bound for New York City, boys, 3,000 miles away. In my portmanteau, here I have some cannabis, beans and bacon. Special thanks to the old Gabba Seat anti crew and their tribute to Tribute the Beer, and also to Raven, the Pirate. Everybody involved in Plymouth Pirate Weekend 2023, including Southern Harbour Holdings, I thank you all. 30 years of culture and the arts as a free service on Love Summertime TV. Don't forget to friendly share my videos, subscribe to my channel and support me through PayPal at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's, 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 it's.